Bill Bailey died this morning at the Friendship Manor Nursing Home in Peewee Valley, where he'd been living since he had a stroke in 2003. He was 81 years old. Bailey was a staple on Kentuckiana's airways in the 80s, in the 60s and 70s, excuse me, with a morning show on Wacky. He often partnered with WHAS 11's own Reed Yaden and was a close personal friend with Terry Miners. They both join us now to talk more about the legacy mm -hmm. of uh, the Duke of Louisville. Thank you both so much for being here, and I'm so sorry for both of your losses. You were very close with him. Uh, first, Reed, can can you, can you tell me a little bit about what you'll remember most? What I remember most is a guy that, that enjoyed being on the air every day and enjoyed trying to make a, a, the day of a lot of people just a little bit better, give them something to laugh about, even if it was Bill Bailey. Uh, <laughs> right. The guy had a heart that was huge. He was a very soft touch at the end of the day, but uh, what, what you saw is what you got on the radio. And I think he was a spokesman for a lot of the working people in this he town. Did he rail against the mayor or the <laughs> governor and people laugh and think, I can't believe this guy saying this about the governor. Do you think that that's what made him such a memorable DJ? In yes. this town. Reed was on his show with him, and he knows that he was the quintessential guy. He was the guy everybody else was measured against in this city. What, what Bill talked about in the mornings was what the rest of the people talked about throughout the, the midday and the afternoon, whatever it was, whether it be politics or, or government or in some fashion or something that Bailey simply was aggravated about. His own rotten boss, he'd get on there in these he cheap was, skates. And he was the original anti-management person, right. Right. but he had, the, he had the stick to pull it off. He would, we, we would get critiques and memos from a consultant in New York, <laughs> <laughs> and Bill would read them on the air. <laughs> management didn't like it, but Very transparent. he didn't get yeah, here's one of those memos. <laughs> That's the way that goes, yeah. Well, you were talking a little bit just a minute ago about what kind of person he was behind the scenes, that there was a lot more to oh, him. Oh, very much so. Bill had some unbelievable talents. And, and he, he was a terrific painter. He was a very good portrait artist, and he, he did me. A, he was doing landscapes, too. He was a very good landscape artist. He was also a good, uh, a good carpenter. He, he could build things. The, the man had a tremendous amount of talent. And was crazy in love with his three daughters and his oh. son. I spoke with his daughter, Shelley Schultz, a yeah. few hours ago, and he... he when, he was crazy about all of it. And what are people saying? You mentioned something about uh, everything that, that people are saying on Twitter. Uh, what have you heard? A lot of the people that are in the media here locally say, I got in because of Bill Bailey. I mean, he, w he inspired so many people to say, that's what I want to do for a living. You mean you can get paid to make fun of the governor? <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you both so much for being with us today, and we really appreciate you sharing your memories all right, Charles. of Bill Bailey. Thank you so much. And a visitation for Bill Bailey will be this Tuesday from 11 to 6 at Pearson Ratterman Brothers f Funeral Home in Middletown. His funeral will follow immediately. In lieu of flowers, the family requests that contributions be made to Kentucky Southern Indiana Stroke Association, 3425 Stony Spring Circle, Suite 102, Louisville, Kentucky.